roll. I just gotta get freaky for you because you love the hoes. <laughs> I don't care if they don't like me. I came here to stunt. Yeah, yeah. I don't care if they don't. Something I will never understand is these FBA Negroes and their self hatred for Africa. <laughs> Because how else were you black? You know what I mean? I'm not going to go through a historical lesson on how your ancestors came from Africa. Most of y'all Negroes think that y'all 10%, 15% Blackfoot, Cherokee, whatever's in y'all blood can outmax the 85 to 90, 95% of African blood in you. Y'all can claim y'all from everywhere else in the world and even more so in America than identifying with Africa. Well done, white man. Nonetheless, it's just very mind boggling <laughs> that because of my Afrocentric features, because I might have bigger lips than another black person, or my lips or my nose might be wider than another black person, that because I look more African, whatever that means, that somehow, now there's a line or a wall separated between me and you. I don't know what Tariq is telling y'all Negroes, but it needs to stop. Y'all here be worried about everything under the sun, even concerning your own people from different lands. And you're not concerned with self-healing. You're not concerned with self-love. You're not concerned with knowledge of self. You're not concerned with your true enemy, which isn't the white man, it's yourself. And you're an example of that. You're turning away all your people that look like you just because they're from different places of the world. I even heard a black man the other day say that, you know, at this point, Negroes are the new KKK. And I have to agree. At this point, what you see in the media and even what you experience, you're going to get the most hate from your own people. Even Marcus Garvey, you know, confessed to this when he started his movement. And if you look at every other particular revolutionary movement that was created for our uprising, it always took an informant, a Negro, to bring it down. And so most of y'all are pushing agendas that y'all don't even know that y'all pushing. Most of y'all are pushing this FBA agenda and don't realize your informants. <laughs> and respectfully, I don't mean this, you know, if you're somebody who just claims to be FBA or you just a part of the movement, you don't want no trouble. I ain't talking to you. But I'm talking to these Negroes like this one <laughs> that say that because I look non-Black American, whatever the hell that means, that somehow I'm not a part of the movement or the lineage. So before your FBA people start thinking about reparations, you need to start thinking about therapy ASAP.